and welcome to another awesome video with you and Scream Friends of Horror Panda. So today's video is going to be a little bit more serious and hopefully funny at times, but I will be talking about canvassing and defending human rights. So I got presented with an opportunity of like a lifetime to become a part of a team of caring awesome people who were fighting for human rights. And a little philanthropist in me was like drunkly dancing and all happy. So before I continue, let me explain. Amnesty International is a global movement of more than 7 million people in over 150 countries and territories who campaign to end abuses of human rights. And just so we're clear, we have sanitizing napkins, sanitizer, face masks, shields, and even like yoga mats to roll out so we can stay six feet apart. Day one. We met at the office where we introduced ourselves to each other and uh, then we had an hour training where we discussed our pitch and we practiced it a couple times. Then we left to our designated turf area where we shadowed our super supervisor who was showing us how to correctly do it, how to correctly do the pitch, how to communicate with people, how to knock on the doors and all that fun stuff. So after doing that for an hour, I was left alone. Dun dun dun! That was my personal breaking point because I actually had to go and knock on the doors myself. And honestly, I really didn't want to do it. Hey, I still believed in a great cause and I still do. If I didn't, you wouldn't be watching this video, but it was terrifying, especially during COVID-19. So the first door that I did by myself, the lady was an angel. She was super nice. She conversated with me. She was interested. She was, uh, um, she cared about the issue and even though I was blabbering complete nonsense and she was asking me questions and I wasn't <laughs> able to answer them, but I got, gave her all the information that she needed and like, thank you very much, Anna, for being an awesome human being. Because after that, everything went downhill. I met some very rather unpleasant people who almost made me cry. Hey, leave me alone, I cry a lot. Sadness is my leading emotion. You're nice to me, I cry. You're mean to me, I cry. Put my makeup on today, I cry. I cry all the time. So after encountering those uh, rather unpleasant people, I honestly thought to myself that I'm gonna order an Uber and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna quit. But I persevered and I went to knock on the next door. And honestly, it did get better. A lady caught me on the street and she was very curious of what was up with me wearing a yellow vest. So she started conversating with me and apparently she used to donate to Amnesty quite often in the past and because she saw us, she got so inspired to go home and donate again. And that's when my faith in humanity was restored. Today's most my first day is my, my first job here uh, in OC, uh, but it was it was fun but horrible at the same time. I don't know, it was just a roller coaster of emotion. Um, this is awesome. Like, I canvassing door to door to support something important is freaking awesome. Day two was much easier. So, on a day two, I already knew kind of what I wanted to say, so I wasn't blabbering complete nonsense. So, I had a little bit more structure and I was more comfortable with words and in general being less scared to do it. We had our one hour training and then I was left to go canvassing by myself from 2.30 to 7.30 and then my last hour was designated to be with my super duper riser who was helping me and honestly like she's like the best. I'm just saying and I hope she, uh, she nothing but the best for her and I hope uh, she's happy. So within those six hours, I had to knock on a hundred doors and talk to at least 50 people. And it does sound like a lot, but honestly, it's quite doable. So I got my assigned area and I went on my own. Well, of course, there were some rather unpleasant people or people who just didn't care, but I had so many awesome good conversations. So many people cared about the issue, wanted to hear about it, wanted to communicate with me, wanted to conversate with me, even though they weren't able to help monetarily, but they still cared about it and it was really awesome to see that. I honestly had so many great conversations that day. Of course, I had like so many more like closed doors or people who didn't care, but honestly, it didn't matter. Alrighty, so um, I'm on my little like 10 minute break situation. It's like mid shift, uh, changed to warmer clothes because it is cold outside. Um, and then there's car coming and I'm talking to myself like an idiot, but it's all right.
Let's do it. Day three was a character building day. It started out very rough because people were not home or they were busy working. But as it got later, it got better. I again had so many awesome conversations, but this time I had them with people who cared about the world and who, who were already doing their part into helping the world to become better. Many of those people were already familiar with Amnesty or donated to Amnesty in the past. My heart was so warm knowing that there are people who care and people who are trying to do their part into creating and helping changing the world for better. I heard about so many different awesome organizations and awesome causes that people were helping and contributing to them and it was just very awesome. And of course I had this one person who was just not having the great day so they kind of unleashed their bad day on me and did it make me cry? Maybe. Did it ruin my night? Maybe. But I really hope that they got a better day after that. So it's basically a lot of walking. my first day canvassing completely by myself the entire night. That day I had so many awesome conversations with students, with college students and they knew about the issue and they were very involved into learning about it and communicating with me and just talking to me about it so we were like sharing information with each other and just being very awesome. It was so awesome just talking to them. And also that night I met three raccoons like cool beans like how awesome three raccoons and fortunately i didn't cry that day and that day i knocked on one of the doors and lady opened and she was like where's my food so she thought i was like from doordash and uber eats and i was like i don't have your food but i do have some information how you can help fighting for human rights she was like oh i'm sorry i'm busy but i was like okay oh well what you gonna do but it was funny was my last day because I knew that I wasn't meeting my quota and I just don't have a pushy bone in me, okay? So nice. At that point, I wasn't able to sign anybody right at the door, so I was kind of getting discouraged, not gonna lie. That day, every time I was getting discouraged, I would knock on the next door and I would just meet awesome person. And around like 6 p.m., like two and a half hours before my shift ended, uh... I knocked on a door and I got an awesome opportunity to meet Mindy. That was an experience that I don't think I will ever be able to forget. She listened to me, she conversed with me, and then she said yes. She signed up to become a monthly gift giver. I literally left her house crying. Like, thank you so much for being such an awesome person. Guys? I just got a donor. I just got my first donor. Oh my god. 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 I want to cry. <laughs> I'm like literally crying. Amnesty International is urgently fighting for the rights of refugees, asylum seekers during COVID-19. And I hope that that's an issue that you care about. There are over 25 million people who are displaced globally. And that's the worst refugee crisis since World War II. And the issue is more complex with the threat of COVID-19. People are kept in overcrowded camps and some of them don't have access to basic medical help. And that sounds pretty terrible, right? So Amnesty International is pulling all of its efforts and trying to help. They are sending crisis teams in the most affected areas. These teams are working globally with families' lawyers to build human rights violations cases and free them. These teams collect evidence on those human rights violations and trying to hold them accountable. And put pressure on politicians to create change that we desperately need. Right now we have a window of opportunity with administration changing to make a difference. Do you believe when people like me and you come together, we can create an actual change? So the way you can help today and actually start creating change right now is by becoming a monthly gift giver or monthly sustaining member through your mobile bank. Because that's how Amnesty International has resources to run its campaigns. As a member, you will join a family of other 8 million people around the world who share your values to protect human rights. And that's how we win. So let's get you on board. I have links down in the description below for you to become this awesome person that's gonna create an actual change. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's not the regular kind of content, but 
I do think it's important and I wanted to share my experience and just let you know guys don't be mean to people who knock on your doors and try to create change in the world okay I hope you have a wonderful and amazing day today and if you watched until this point of the video you clearly care about the issue and you clearly care about me so I really appreciate you either way but for whatever reason you watch this video I know what I really appreciate you watching until this point and I'm gonna give you something special I'm gonna give you a panda panda power and just remember that you're an awesome potato and you know what awesome potatoes do they smile